right, everyone. So it is time to ring this lovely hide. And the ringing station that we had here got taken down because a tree needed to come down, the tree it was attached to. So just in time for this video, we have put together a classically janky ringing situation. But I figure those of you following along at home are probably going to be scrounging to put together a ringing situation yourself. So what better than using an example of putting together a what you got and what you can make work type of a situation. So what we're working with is a piece of hazel out of a burn pile and a madrone tree that just happened to be here with a fork in the right spot and an orcharding ladder. And we're going to be lashing the whole thing together. It's going to be very sturdy. <laughs> but basically what you want is a nice sturdy cross piece. Opinions vary. Some people like it as low as their waist. So you can be working down here. I like it somewhere between my waist and my chest, like sternum or chest high, so that I can actually use my body weight to help bring the hide. But you know, whatever works for you, but sturdy horizontal cross piece is the key thing you're after. I'm going to be lashing this piece here so that, so that it is sturdy, but so that it's easy to take off again when we're done. So I'm just gonna do a clove hitch, which is kind of a classic knot for starting a lash. And a clove hitch looks like two pieces crossing over one another, making a nice X. I've got my nice X here, and then I'm going to take the working end of my rope, and I'm just gonna thread it under that X. So now I have, and the whole X. So now I have an X, but coming out of either side of the middle, I have my ends, and it's a nice sturdy hitch. I can crank on it and it is really easy to untie afterwards. So this is kind of classic for lashing. Sidle this clove hitch on up to here. And then for classic lashing, you're basically making a square. So I'm going around the bottom part of, and let's just coil this up. That'll be nicer. Temporary coil because it's about to come undone. Okay. All right, so I've gone around the bottom part of the ladder and then I'm going to come up and around and sidle that down close and then just keep going around, keeping it all square. So basically making a rectangle where my back loops are parallel to one another and my front loops are parallel to one another. If they're really off and, you know, a lot of space between them, then the whole thing can loosen a lot. So keeping it nice and snug is gonna make a big difference and doesn't take that many wraps. Three, four will totally be strong enough to hold body weight. And this is really just to keep this from moving because it's the step that's gonna be supporting the weight anyway. But this would be a lashing that I could use even without a support for the vertical weight. I could just use a horizontal. There's flush and around and now I'm gonna I mean this whole thing is pretty good and tight but now I'm gonna tighten the whole thing with some wraps and that's called frapping in lash language okay so I'm gonna do some X X's first and then the frapping after to tighten it all so like that nice X here and then I'll go around and I have to kind of thread through because the step is there, whereas I wouldn't if this was just to a horizontal. And so now you can see that with a few wraps around, I'm taking up all of the slack in that lashing and it's super strong. And that's the kind of lashing that you can hang body weight off of pretty easy. All right, and now I can just tie it off down here and you can use a fancy knot to tie off a lashing or you can just wrap it around quite a few times because friction is going to hold pretty good and then you can just do a half hitch super easy way to tie off and as my good friend once told me three half hitches will hold the devil so you can get really fancy or you can just get really used to doing three half hitches pretty good 